never knew you. That's the father spirit speaking. I never knew you. You evil doers. Can you attest to what I'm saying, lady? Healing in you. Healing in you. Listen, even this healing is in you. Look, I want you to not to look at it as a gift. For God said, I sent forth my word to heal your diseases. That's how we incorporate all of them. That's how we incorporate all of them. That's how we do what? We incorporate all the doctors. Because I send forth my... If the word is not there, you are a specialist. You deal with one. Are we going somewhere? You deal with one. So, that's why I say, I know if it's in the dark, if it's in the presence, you will never fail anyone you train or develop or equip. You will never fail them. Because when they come, they lose what they like. They lose what they want to do. They lose where they want to go because they go where they did not want to go. They get in dressed. Somebody's dressing them. Someone is dressing them. Are we going somewhere? So never forget one thing. I sent forth my word. And now because it was not the word they said, we heal the sick in your name. He said, I never knew you. Because it was not the father's language. It was not the father's language. So greater things are part of the virtues. Because you show forth wonderful deeds. They are from where? From hidden places. From the dark. From the presence of God. Are we clear? Are we clear? I believe we are here as leaders and I believe somebody's, somebody's ideas and religions are crushed. Hallelujah. So graphically, when it's exposed, that's how it happened in Galatians 3. The apostle Paul said to them, you foolish Galatians who bewitched you. You unreflecting Galatians. To be bewitched, you unreflect. You fail to reflect. You were supposed to reflect the Father. You were supposed to reflect the Christ. Because there's no reflection now. But I preach the gospel. How was Christ revealed to you? Christ was graphically portrayed unto you as crucified. How did you receive the Holy Spirit? Was it by faith or by your traditions? So anything we do, graphically portrayed, must be shown unto you. So that you can reflect. When you talk about perfections, where there are perfections, there are reflections. Because where there's perfection, face to face, perfection. There's a reflection. If you look unto the mirror, when you look into the mirror, what do we say in science? What you see in the mirror, it's your reflection. It's your reflection. But now, how much more when we see God face to face? Perfection. So you are to show forth perfections. Perfections of him who did what? Who called you. So I'm just doing it practically and graphically so that you can see. Wherever I go, there's this angel. And only few people saw him. He is so jealous. That's where the father's operation of jealousy is in. That's why touch not the anointed. That's why you see what is happening now in this church. Because you touched now it's activated. He can send some things to you which are not supposed to happen in your life simply because you touched in the wrong manner. 
could begin to happen. Because he said, touch not. You will see greater things. And in greater things, you will learn everything graphically so. I'm going to finish here. Because we have to come back and we continue tomorrow with this. And look, what is happening now? This is a thing that's going to cause you to be revealed. Let me say you'll be revealed badly. The level that is happening now, even those who see vision, dreams, and appearances, you have never seen an appearance. But you are going to see things that will cause you. Some of you, you'll be crazy for a moment. You'll be mad for a moment. You'll be mad for a moment. Meaning you'll see that appearance and become mad for a moment and God showing you that I am the one now. I am the one now. The Father. The Father. The Father. The Father. Madness because of that revelation. Madness because of that appearance. When you come back, you will speak and say, when I'm out of my mind, it's for God. When I'm out of my mind, it's for who? But in my mind is to accommodate your stupidity. But out of my mind, I go into perfections. And in perfections, that's where I reveal the greatness. Libra katu suko shie kapla, libra hita suzike di shie la kapuzi. Vrende ki fraku suzike shie la kapuzi. Libra katu sikimber vi la karia. Libra katu sika fashiete. See perfection. See perfection. See perfection. I say to all of you listening, all my hearers, go into the state of a man with no guile and you will see greater things. I want you today to get the mystery from above. I want you to get the mystery. Any mystery that is from God in the presence of men, what is this? What is happening today? Open a space. You are a daughter. <laughs> Anyone you'll be ministered to today by the Spirit of the Father. Let your eyes see, daughter. Let your eyes see. I'm just giving you an opportunity. Okay. See, greater thing. If you are a daughter and you're a son, no one knows the father 
save the son. And no one knows the son, save the father. So I'm going to minister right now. I want us to get this. If you spoke about grass and petrol, it was nothing. If you were shocked by that, it was nothing. A relationship with God is a relationship of the Father and the Son. There's no other fellowship save the fellowship of the Father and the, and the Son. Let your eyes see the glory. Let your eyes see his presence. Let your eyes see his glory. It didn't just end up in the Bible. What manner of man is this? What kind of a man? A manner of man. A manner of man. I'm going to minister now. Just believe. God has prepared all this for you. God has prepared all. This is from the intimate presence of the Father. Treasures. Treasures. Treasures of We heal the sick in your name. We cast out demons in your name. You see, he said it in my name. That's what you will do. In man, that's what you will do. But because you never knew the father, the father says, I never knew you. Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? May your eyes live to see the glory of the Father. May your eyes live to see his glory. When that happens, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. No foul language spoken against you shall prosper. We refute every tongue that sets itself against God. Every tongue speaking against you, it sets itself against the living God. There are people who are so foolish below the level of demons because demons know they say, Paul, we know. Christ, we know. Who are you? Who do you know if you don't know Paul and don't know Christ? You are even below the level of demons. <laughs> do we love our Father? Amen. Do we love Jesus Christ? Amen. Do we love Jesus Christ? Amen. Do we love Jesus Christ? Amen. Do you receive him Amen. as a Lord and Savior? Amen. Viewers all over the world, blessed are do you receive him? As a Lord and Savior, do you confess that He's your Lord and Savior? Follow me this prayer. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I humble myself before you because you are the Father. My Father, I humble myself in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm a sinner. Wash me with the precious blood, and I'll be whiter than snow. Today I believe in my heart and I confess with my mouth that in darkness, in your presence, 
this life. That's where I was found. I was lost, but I was found right now in your presence. I was lost. Here am I in your presence. Alive, blessed from above. You rose from the dead and you gave me life. Life in your presence. Life in the dark. I receive you in Jesus' name. Amen. You are no longer a sinner. You are blessed. You are no longer a sinner. You are blessed. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> God is going to use him in his church mightily. It's going to be more than what they expected. When you go home, it will be, where do you come from? We know your wife. We know your children. We know this. We know your... But what are these things that you do? What are these things that you do? Do we love Jesus Christ? Did you hear what they said? How can we speak to him with human language? Because we are in the dark. When you reach that state, when you reach that presence, human mind is totally destroyed. You serve God with your spirit. You serve God with your, with your, you serve God with your, with your spirit. And if you serve him, with your spirit, nothing can conquer your spirit. Your spirit is substance that God knew before the world began. Therefore, you were chosen in Christ as substance. So I want you to get what is happening now. And you understand why the scepter given. You understand why the scepter given. Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? Do we love Jesus Christ? So as a minister right now, just believe one thing. You just need, because I've seen you, I've spoken to you. Do you have to see me after this? Just go, meditate. <laughs> meditate upon this. Tomorrow, we're coming up again. God is... That's why I'm saying God has already given. It's a lot. So tomorrow we're going on this teaching. I want you to get this. When greater things are revealed, greater things are revealed because they are part of virtues, fruit. You'll see them by there? By there? Fruits. So I understand part of the name now. In my name you'll do this, in my name. But the Father does not know you. Anybody can say Jesus. And look, when Jesus was led by the Spirit to be tempted by the enemy in the desert, what happened? He says that every knee and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is. Huh? 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 Every knee shall bow. But did the devil bow in the desert? No. Turn the stone into bread. Men shall not live on bread alone, but by the way that proceeds from the mouth of God. Throw yourself down for it is written. He quotes the Bible. Are we going somewhere? After all those tests, that's when angels came and worshipped and the devil left. He was supposed to bow, but now the bowing comes because he completed his course. He's seated on the right hand of the Father. Paul, we know. Christ, we know. It's because you are seated. That's why you must get it. Many people try to teach this and say the devil is accusing us every day. He's no longer, he can't accuse you. He was, Revelation told, he was held out of heaven. And he fell. 
At this moment, the presence that God carries, the devil cannot stand before the presence. So just believe. I'm going to minister to all of you. You receive such a spirit. Uh, are you seeing it? Uh, let God open your eyes. See such kind of glory. You thought you knew your mentor, but the moment your eyes are opened, you see a strange man. Love our father. So what I'm saying, I give you the opportunity as you go home, let this service continue. <laughs> let it, let it continue as you go home. Let God be the one to minister to you. The spirit of the father is the one to give you life. what I'm giving everyone. 